Hi students, welcome to class 5 mathematics. Let's learn about angles today from the lesson shapes and angles. Before learning angles, let's see some of the terms related to angles. First one is a point. Point is an exact location on a plane. It is represented by a dot. Then line. Line is a straight path on a plane extending in both the directions with no end points. No end points for a line and it extends on both the sides. Then comes line segment. Line segment is a part of line. It has two end points and so it has a definite length. Ray. Ray is also a part of line. A line segment extended indefinitely in one direction is called a ray. A ray has only one end point and it extends to the other side. If we look around us, we can see such formations everywhere. Just have a look at these pictures. When two rays meet each other, it forms an angle. Angles are shown with the red color in these pictures. This is the structure of an angle. This angle is called angle AOB. Where OA that is a ray, it is its arm. Ray OB is another arm. When ray OA meets ray OB at the point O, that point O is called its vertex. These are some of the angles you can see in our daily life. Let's have a look at these pictures. Observe some of the angles shown in this picture. Here you can see some more examples of angles you have seen in your daily life. From these pictures what you have understood? An angle is the amount of turn between two straight lines that have a common vertex. Let's define an angle. When two separate rays join with a common end point, an angle is formed. For example, here you can see ray BC. Another ray, ray BA. When these two non-collinear rays, it means two separate rays, meets each other in the point B, it forms an angle. Ray BA, ray BC. These are the arms of angle A, B, C. And B is the common end point which is also known as vertex. Some shapes are given here. You have to count the number of angles in these shapes. Look at the first shape. The shape is known as pentagon. 
here how many angles are there 1 2 3 4 5 so the number of angles in pentagon is 5 let's see the other picture here the angles are marked with this shapes count the number of shapes how many angles are there there are six angles now the last picture here how many angles you can see there are three types of angles so in pentagon you can see five angles and the second picture six angles and the third picture three angles this is one assignment for you. Write your name in capital letters and mark the angles in the letters. Then you can count the total number of angles in the letters of your name. Write it in your notebook. This is for you to do in activity book. Number 1. Using mastics, make any three shapes and mark the angles in it. And the second one, this is mastic puzzle. You have to make 8 triangles using 6 mastics. Hope you will try this activity in your drawing book. I hope you understood about what's an ankle. Thank you students. Let's meet again with different types of angles. Bye.